And now the story of a powerful new political ad being challenged by the fact checkers. It tells the story of a Michigan mother fighting leukemia. She lost the health insurance she liked because of Obamacare. And now she says the new plan is unaffordable. Then I received the letter. My insurance was canceled because of Obamacare. Now the out-of-pocket costs are so high, it's unaffordable. If I do not receive my medication, I will die. I believed the president. I believed I could keep my health insurance plan. I feel lied to. It's heartbreaking for me. The woman you just, just saw, Julie Boonstra, is with us tonight. And we will speak with Julie in a moment. We want to start, though, with Robert Zimmerman. He's a veteran Democratic strategist, a member of the Democratic National Committee. And we reached out uh, to the target of that ad in Michigan. He, neither he nor anybody from his office would come on. So we appreciate you, Robert, for coming on. Good to uh, be to, with you. To offer your thoughts on it. Um, so now the Washington Post fact checker has come out and given this ad to Pinocchios, suggesting that it's somewhat misleading. They don't say it's outright false, but they say it's somewhat misleading because they think that Julie's costs will wind up being about the same. My question to you is, is the ad, I'm going to talk to Julie about that in a minute, but for you, is that ad effective? No, absolutely not. Now, by the way, all of us can relate to Mrs. Boonstra and what she's gone through. My, I've had members of my family face life-threatening illnesses, so we can all relate to her anguish. But this is not about her. It's about the fact the ad is an amateurish fraud. Mrs. Boonstra, to her credit, pointed out that under Obamacare, her premiums have been cut from $1,100 a month to $571 a month. But now her out-of-pocket costs are unpredictable, which she well, does actually, not under like. Obamacare, and this was pointed out actually by Glenn Kessler and, and, the, and the Washington Post when they gave this out to Pinocchios, her, her out-of-pocket costs are capped at $6,350. But they're unpredictable. Now, but let, well, me, let me answer that charge, and I'm going to ask her about that. But what she says is before, under her old plan, which she was told she could keep and she liked, which didn't turn out to be true, um, she was paying $1,100 a month, and she liked the certainty of that. And now, even though she may be paying less per month, she can get smacked with a $3,000 bill next month that she doesn't have in the bank. But the reality is, the most she can lay out, the most she pays out of pocket is $6,350, bucks, and it's all covered. Now, the Coke but, organization. But, okay, but, but I'm going to give you the floor. I'm going to give you the floor. I'm going to give you the floor. But what what she says to that is. But I didn't like that. I wanted the certainty of knowing my monthly payment. I don't want to be told, oh, just come up with a three grand. And if you get hit with another three grand the next month, then you'll be, it's all paid up Megan, for the year. She may not have that in the bank. Megan, the reality is under this plan and the Koch organization to, to their own discredit, to their own deceit, doesn't mention in the ad that she has, uh, she keeps the same doctor she presently has, and also she has an insurance plan under Blue Cross Blue Shield that gives her the same coverage she had previously. As far as the expense, as far as the expenses go, the, the point is everything after six thousand three hundred fifty bucks is totally covered, and that's the that's the critical point. That's the it, maximum out of pocket she right. can be forced to pay. That's right. everything is covered one hundred percent. But here's the point, Megan, that really counts, and this is why the ad doesn't work because the public can smell hypocrisy. Now, while the Koch organization is running an ad that is misleading and talking about Ms. Boonstra's health insurance, they're organizing campaigns around the country to block other people from getting health insurance who have conditions like Mrs. Boonstra. They block them. And Absolutely. They're blocking expanding Medicaid coverage for, for citizens around the country okay. through lobbying and advertising okay. campaigns. That's critical. That blocks working and indigent people from getting okay. health care. Robert, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Joining us now with more of that Michigan mother from the political ad, Julie Boonstra. Julie, thank you so much for being here. I know you're in the middle of chemotherapy, and uh, this is probably not what you feel like doing tonight. So thanks for coming on. Let me ask you to respond to what you heard Robert saying about, hey, you, you have nothing to worry about because your out-of-pocket costs are now capped at about $6,300 a year. Um, I do have something to worry about, Megan. The, the $6,000 is a lot of money. It's money I don't have that I can't just have a service, you know, have a test done and pay the doctors that $6,000. I just don't have it in the bank. To me, it's unaffordable. When I had a health care plan that I could budget for and I had a stable amount, it, it suited me better. Mm -hmm. I, I do not care for not knowing what my expenses will be month to month. What what about your claim in, in the ad that you feel lied to, that, that you know, you liked your plan <laughs> and you believe the president when he said you could keep it? I, I did. I did believe the president when he said I could keep it. When I received the letter stating that my plan was dissolving, it, it was crushing to me. 
Um, I was raised to respect the president and you may not agree with their decisions, but you still have a certain amount of respect. And receiving this letter, hearing him lie to me and to the rest of the American public has been crushing for me. And I can't honor the way that I was raised. You know, you heard Robert and, and you know, the Washington Post suggest that, that the ad, your claims are misleading because you, I know you had to go on the, on the exchange and you had a terrible time on, on the website, so you wound up buying a plan through a broker. But you got Blue Cross Blue Shield, you get to keep your doctor, you got an annual cap on your out-of-pocket expenses, which you didn't have before, and so they argue you're better off. Um, I, I am not better off. I found a plan based on my specialist. Um, I credit my being here um, to my specialist and to my chemotherapy and to God. And it was very important to me that I keep my doctor. So I found a plan that my doctor accepted. Um, as far as saving any money, I, I don't see this as saving any money. I, I thought Obamacare was supposed to help me. It's not helping me. The uncertainty of knowing when the next big bill is coming, in other words, uh, will make a certainly year one in the policy tough. It, it will make it extremely tough for me. I just simply do not have that money. Julie, God bless you. I hope you, I hope you do, do well. You look great. Thank you.